Joining us right now, former New Mexico governor and former Democratic presidential candidate himself, Bill Richardson. Governor, good to see you. Thank you. Marie. Thank you so much. It's sort of unfair to throw that question at you, isn't it? What did John Podesta mean? It doesn't look good, though. These emails from WikiLeaks are not looking good, Governor. Well, what he was saying is release them to the public. I mean, this is a very political, bureaucratic characterization. Dump the bad news. You know, get them out. Not, hey, he rip it up, shred no, all that of stuff. of course not. No, you know, Podesta, if anything, is he's a very ethical guy. He's been, you know, a chief of staff for several administrations. He, basically what it means is, you know, when this is something in politics. When you have a problem, get rid of it. In other words, dump it all out. Get all the bad news out. I think that's what he was saying. Huh. Okay. That's it. That's, it. that's, I think, that's your analysis. I, I, that's the story, and you're sticking to it. Yeah, I think, look, it's the same idea about writing books. People, politicians started writing books to get all the dirty laundry out. And I think, you know, clearly what he you know, was expecting is to dump it out, and hopefully dump it out in enough volume that nobody paid attention to the nuances there. So yeah. six yeah. days left. Right. What would you say, what do you want to see out of Hillary Clinton right now? How do you want her to handle? Well, I, you know, here we're talking about emails, WikiLeaks uh, with Trump, you know, the, the women's stuff, taxes. Closing arguments should be about the issues, about totally. the economy, about national security, about, uh, and I think this is where Hillary Clinton, uh, I want her to emphasize the last six days, you know, her vision of the country, her plans to economic growth, uh, to fight ISIS, uh, to deal with some of the Obamacare issues that, that have come up. Right. I think Obamacare is a plus, but, you know, there, there's some fixing to do. What is her vision, do you think? Can you, I mean, I feel like, I know it's very simple what Trump has said, make America great again. He's talking about lower taxes. He's talking about rolling back regulations. What are her important tenets of her campaign? What's her vision? Her vision is American families doing something about income inequality, about creating jobs, about making sure that education is available to everybody, about fighting ISIS, about having a, a foreign policy based on our ideals. That, that's what she wants to do. Well, Governor, you're talking about income inequality. I think that is the number one, one of the top issues facing the country right now. But income inequality is um, a, a new topic here. I think people um, have lost confidence in our system. But if we look at African Americans, the Democratic Party's most loyal constituency, um, and we are hearing nothing in terms of how the party is, go or how Hillary Clinton's administration would provide economic opportunity for African American entrepreneurs. Not every African American in the United States of America thrives or strives for $15 an hour. They want the same access to the American dream as everybody else. So the most loyal constituency of the party is constantly overlooked. So how do you, how do you balance that? Well, you know, I'm, right. I'm, despite my last name, I am Hispanic. And I don't know why I said that, but anyway, you know, my point is that you're right. I mean, Hispanics, African Americans, you know, we care about uh, mainstream issues, about jobs, about crime issues. We care. It's not just, you know, uh, issues relating to, uh, to, to affirmative action. And, and so economic growth, those, those jobs are important. I think Hillary has an inner city program. She has an economic program to reduce taxes on small business. No, no, no. Taxes are going to go up on small business under no, Hillary's no, plan. No, 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 no. Small business de depends how you. But that means it. at the individual. Is she going to do that at the individual tax rate level? Because that's where small business owners pay taxes. They don't yeah. pay corporate and she's taxes, raising those as you taxes. know from your state. You know, well, they pay it at the I individual think, level. I, I, what I've seen of her economic plan it, it, for small business, it, it's a reduction. But what she is doing is on manufacturing. In other words, how can we keep manufacturing jobs here? I, instead of them being shipped overseas, what can we do to get those uh, tax revenues from that overseas movement to fund infrastructure, to, fund, uh, to find ways to get pensions and infrastructure funded right now in public-private partnerships. This, she's got some new good economic but, but, but ideas. Governor, good governor, you know, let's, you, you mentioned African Americans and, and you mentioned the fact that African Americans and, and Latino Americans are looking for upward mobility. We're not going to find that on Wall Street because if you look at the Fortune 500 companies, they're not run by African Americans or Latinos. So it's entrepreneurship. And right. the party has 
neglected to take that message to the minority community of upward mobility for economic prosperity. Not, look, yeah. we all want everybody at the middle level to do well, but our young people want access to the American dream, which is deeply rooted in a capitalistic structure. It's not a socialistic country. So how, how come the party can't meet us on that common ground? Well, I think the emphasis, as you know, has to be on improving our educational system, our training, uh, our community colleges. I think you have to start with that educational system. And look, let's look at the reality. African Americans, Hispanics, it's going to be probably a very high turnout for Hillary Clinton, for the Democratic Party. But you're right. I think we have to address those economic issues, those mainstream economic issues the, that allow the entrepreneur, the small business person, to, to start a business. You know, I want to see more Latinos in your business, in high tech, you know, in private equity, in, uh, you know, what, what you guys report every morning. Yeah. You're right. We I mean, don't have anybody.